All right, so it's finally here. This is the Swiss Tech 11-in-1 multi-tool. And this it's actually called a multi-tool knife. This is around $20. This is around $50. This is the Gerber Trade and on the left. And let's go ahead and see which one is better, which one do you prefer. So the Swiss Tech 11-in-1, one of the main selling points about it is that it has this screwdriver. So this is a quarter inch double-sided screwdriver. You can see it has the bolt detent right there. You can get replacement bits from Klein, from DeWalt, and some other off-brands as well, fairly cheap on Amazon. Now the Gerber Trade does not have the detent. This is double-sided bit. You can also use normal-sided bits in this one as well. They fit right in there like that. Now with the Swiss Tech, and now it's sort of stuck. Now with the Swiss Tech, it's not, it won't be quite as easy. Some people say that you can put a magnet, and I think I've tried that before. You can put a magnet at the end and then it sort of works. Just one of those small magnets and that should work fine. All right, so we have the screwdriver and then the exciting news, neither of these are locking. So part of me wonders why on earth would Swiss Tech have made this when they surely had heard that the Gerber armbar people wind up locking, but apparently the engineers in their wisdom did not make this locking either. So that is very unfortunate. Now, there are some hot spots when you use this. Pocket clip can get in the way as well. Gerber Armbar, or the Gerber Trade, rather, Armbar Trade has some of the same issues, but it does seem to be just a tad more comfortable in the hand, especially if you use it on the side like so. So we have the screwdriver, we have the pocket clip. I like some of the detailing and the metal work as well. And even the knife is sort of cool as well right there. We have the knife on the outside, which cuts very well. And then we have the saw as well. So those are both uh, pretty nice full length instruments, tools on the outside. Now right here we have the scissors. And the more that I use this, the better uh, they come out of the tool. So I actually found them very difficult to get the scissors out at the beginning. But again, the more I use this tool, the easier it becomes. So with the Swiss Tech 11-in-1, we have the scissors and they do cut through paracord. It just takes a couple tries. So they're not awful. They're not the best, but they're definitely not awful. They remind me more of a Leatherman Wave or some of the Leatherman scissors. Uh, so they're, they're all right. And then I guess I should go ahead and use this to get these out. Then we have some more inside tools. We have the strap cutter with the screwdriver. We have the can opener, bottle cap lifter, and the wire cutter, wire stripper as well. Now this does work to cut paracord, but you have to use a lot of strength to do that. So I'll end up knocking over the camera if I do that probably. So we won't do that right now. So let's go ahead and we do have the scissors down so we can go ahead and collapse the screwdriver. So again, this is $20, this is $50. With this, we do get, again, the bit driver, we get the knife. This is the only tool on here that is locking. So that locks in place like so, and then there we go. And then also on the trade, we get the saw, and then we get the awl for uh, leather work and so forth as well. So that's all so that's what we get. And then we have this hammer on the end and the bottle cap lifter as well. So pretty nifty. One of the things I like about the Gerber Trade is that it definitely is shorter. It definitely is lighter, but it definitely is not cheaper. So I'll leave it up to you, which you think is your favorite, $50 or $20. I have to say, even at $50, I still sort of like the Gerber Trade better, but the Swiss Tech definitely does a pretty good job I just really wish the bit driver locked.